Hey everybody, good morning. Today is May the 10th, 2012. This is Dan in Jonesboro. Want to give a shout out to my brother, JT. Also, want to give a shout out to Lisa, Love to Live Truly. Baby girl, hope your page comes up again. Hope you get back on your video thing. Uh, I know you're going through some situations right now that we've discussed in private. So I just wish you Godspeed in getting back into the family. Know that we love you. We cherish your thoughts and ideas. And from the bottom of my heart, I truly miss my sister. So and she left me a message the other day that filled my heart. Said she ain't gone nowhere. So that's a good thing. But I want to talk real briefly in this message about Brother JT's uh, excellent commentary this morning about fronting and putting on or basically putting on airs about what you have and what you don't have. I was uh, about a year ago I was on uh, YouTube after I had got off work when I was working at the time for this particular company and I would watch videos in the morning time. Since then uh, I found out a lot of things about people on YouTube and people in general but this one particular guy on YouTube was a I don't know uh, he was uh, the big guy uh, that was behind a uh, series of videos where he threatened to uh, he had a make believe list of girls that he had allegedly infected with HIV so the videos were intended in his mind after he got arrested and locked up for it to scare girls into thinking about safe sex black girls but the intent went totally wrong and I never believed that I believe that it was just his twisted sick way of being sadistic just outright wrong so I got turned on to one of his videos through a reply video that he did on this one sister that I used to watch all the time that spoke about relationships. So I went onto his channel and I didn't agree with what the things he was saying, which didn't validate his previous lie that he did it to teach black girls a lesson because the way he came off was totally disrespectful toward black women in general so that led me to believe that that was just in his nature to be like that so he's sitting back in this room and I always noticed in his videos that the paint was peeling off the walls now me being from the dirty south the ghetto the poor dirty south I know the only way paint peels off your walls from where I grew up was basically no air condition, extreme heat. And black people in the 70s and 60s, the era that I grew up, knew how to deal with that. Now we die when it's 80 degrees in the house. So that told me one or two things. Either he didn't have air condition or his house was in very bad condition, which I don't have a problem with. But at the same time, he was talking about how he had a maid downstairs cleaning up his mansion. And how he's got a Maybach and Mercedes Benz and all this stuff just putting on airs that really I could just tell from this background. He would make videos like he was in the closet or something. Or videos in one area all the time. Like he picked like one area out of this whole house that didn't have the paint pulling off the wall so bad. So that was funny. So I called him on it. And I basically said... Man, why are you sitting back telling black people this and this and this and this? And I didn't even allude to the fact that he was fronting. He insulted me. That's when I fired back. And I said, well, I'll show you my house if you show me your house. I never intended, I never intended to show him my house. Because my house is not important. Because I'm not the one saying all this. You are. Nevertheless, he blocked me. Uh, kicked me off his page. And I just took that as funny because I know that 
even though he deleted my comments, I know that some people saw that. And at the time, I was not making videos because I really didn't have time. I really don't have a lot of time to make videos now because, you know, I'm doing my own thing now and working. But, you know, back then, I didn't even know how to make a video. So, whatever. But I just found it odd. You know, I just found it odd. And um, getting back to Brother JT, uh, you're right, man. We spend too much time putting on airs and front, especially in church. And I'm going to make an independent video about churches. But I tell you, um, I personally, myself, I celebrate the Sabbath on Saturday. But, uh, but I do go to stores on Sunday and, you know, uh, roundabout and whatever. And I do visit churches on Sunday. I still do that. But the things that I've seen in church is just ridiculous. Um, it's like a nightclub nowadays, where I'm from. Uh, panty lines, thong lines on the women, short dresses, tight dresses. I mean, honestly, any man would look at that. The young men and boys, tight suits, uh, skinny jean suits. I've seen it all. Skinny jean pants in church. The homosexuality in the church is just rampant. Uh, just rampant. And the pastor can't preach about it because he's regulated. He's controlled. But I'll make a separate video about that. But Brother JT, I just, you know, um, I applaud you for doing your video. Because we do put on too much airs, man. And we do front too much. Never, um, it's never about what you have. It's about what you have in here. And one of the smartest guys that I ever met was a homeless guy by choice. His name was Jeff, and he used to walk the streets of Buckhead in Atlanta. It's a rich area. And this man told me he had 20 cars before he turned 21 years old. Showed me pictures of his family. They were rich. But he didn't want that lifestyle. I never understood it because I was real poor when I met him. I mean, I was bottom of the barrel poor. But I understood it later on that life is about choice. It's not about what you show externally that matters it's all about the internal mechanisms that make man and woman who they really are so with that I learned a valuable lesson I don't really care what people think about me especially in public I really don't care because think about how they really impact your lives anyway uh, people that we pass on the street are like two ships in the night they don't matter. The only thing that matters is that you don't bump into them and they don't bump into you. And if that doesn't occur, it's minimal. So, thank you, bro, T, bro JT, for bringing that message. And once again, Lisa, love to live truly. Keep your head up, baby girl. And I hope everything is fine with you and your family. Say hello to Big Mike. Bro JT, Mama JT. Thank y'all for being positive impacts. Thank you.